Labor Day weekend in Coney Island doesn't go the way of the Cosmos. A 2-0 loss to Jacksonville. First ever win for the Armada FC on the road against the New York Cosmos. Ed Cohen with Sal Rosemilia. We had the call tonight. A couple of key moments in the first half. The Cosmos sell. They don't recover and winless now in five straight. An unfortunate own goal in the 29th minute. Wangara just trying to head a ball away and over the end line and headed it into his own goal as Jimmy Maurer came off the goal line. And then a second one and a scramble in the box. Maurer goes down, doesn't catch the cross. It's 2 nothing Jacksonville. And then give them all the credit from that point on. They defended well. They took some co uh, Cosmos pressure, a lot of shots, but nothing that was just precise enough to beat Patterson Sewell at the end of the night. And the Cosmos early, they controlled the run of play volume from the Cosmos attack, and they had their opportunities against Caleb Patterson Sewell. Javi Marquez from distance very early in the game. And then Flores, Sterikoff, and Iose will connect here. Service into the box cleared away by Mishak Jerome just before. Garris at the far post. But the Cosmos were keeping the pressure on Jacksonville's defense, and they tried to move more numbers behind the ball. Cosmos still were able to generate opportunities. And this off the set piece, Juan Guerra into traffic, and Patterson Sewell makes the diving stop. But Sal, key moment for Jacksonville, 29th minute. Service to the near post. You see Guerra coming for it. Maurer coming off his line, maybe. Communication there has to be a little bit better. Can't fault Guerra for trying to get his body in the way as Kilduff is right behind him, but very unfortunate for him that he heads it just inside the post. Completely against the run of play, Jacksonville takes a 1-0 lead. And that opened the door. Gephardt denied by Maurer, but this 33rd minute, very controversial. The goal for Kilduff and the Cosmos not pleased. Just before Maurer is about to explode to try to rise above the crowd there to catch the cross. I think he stumbles on the turf. Good look at it right here. Watch his right foot just kind of stumbles. He doesn't get the explosion that he's looking for. Referee was right on top of it. Does not call a foul even though the Cosmos, you see the reaction here right after it. They fell behind 2-0. They thought there was a foul on the play. Maurer got a yellow card. Now got a yellow card in that whole ruckus there. Cosmos defense, there were some good moments from Carlos Mendez and company. Maurer had to make some key stops, but the Cosmos unable to generate the consistency on their attack once they fell behind 2-0. There were some opportunities, but in the end, not enough energy to get the equalizer. Yeah, Jimmy Maurer actually made the much better saves, two or three tonight than Patterson Sewell was forced to make. There's another great save by Maurer on a long-range blast from Mishak Jerome. Worth noting, Juan Arango, back from Venezuela, did make his season debut, as did David Diosa. Arango coming on for Diosa late in this match. Sal, a look at the final numbers. Cosmos controlled things, but the two mistakes doomed them. They had the game going their way for the first half hour, but then it's a couple mistakes. Jacksonville took advantage of them, made the most of them at the end of the day. The only stat that matters is 2-0 for Jacksonville. And as a result of those three points, combined table shows Jacksonville leapfrogging the Cosmos into third overall. 32 points for the visitors, 30 still for the New York Cosmos, who next visit Miami on Wednesday, second of a three-game stretch in seven days. Final score, 2-0 Jacksonville here on Labor Day weekend.